Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Renaissance Man, and I'm going to shoot some videos here um, having to deal with um, two meters. Now, two meters is um, it's basically it's VHF band. Um, the band is basically starts at 144 megahertz, which is right here, and goes up to 148 megahertz. So, what we're going to do is we're we're going to just uh, discuss two meters now. The uh, the band has um, obviously has repeaters, um, but we're going to start off with something simple, and that's um, simplex. Okay. Basically, <clears throat> simplex is essentially radio to radio and without without the assistance of a repeater the um, the two meter band has simplex frequencies um, this one here is the two meter calling frequency so you can see I have that label, labeled as two meter call and that frequency is 146.520 on this frequency here we could open up the squelch and basically listen up for uh, any stations calling on that two meter calling channel or frequency and then of course the other uh, side of the spectrum is the two meter repeater which is basically uh, think of it as like a relay station and I am transmitting out to a certain frequency and getting into a relay and then it's being transmitted back out again but at much greater distances so um, if I could reach one of these repeaters um, then my distance will be uh, lengthened quite a bit the only problem with repeaters that are far away is that even though you can hit the repeater um, and I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about that repeater is about about 55 60 air miles away now I'm gonna I'm gonna key it up again and then I want you to hear what that repeater sounds like. Okay, so you hear all the noise, or what what is referred to as scrambled eggs. Well, even though I can hit that repeater, um, it's probably not a repeater that I can work um, comfortably. So, what I'm hearing here and what you're hearing coming back from the, the repeater which is this the same is true for the opposite so if I were to key up that repeater and, and announce my call sign and ask if anybody was listening to the repeater they would probably have a hard time hearing me with all that scrambled eggs noise so basically the lesson here is that 
just because you can hit a, a distant repeater doesn't really mean that you can work that repeater. Now, there are repeaters, uh, obviously, um, in a crisis scenario, uh, you could you could work those. And next, I'll call for one of the but right now, I'm calling anybody in the new state. Once you check in, please do so now. You could certainly utilize those machines. You can see this one here. We only have two bars. This is Kilo, Bravo 3, Papa Tango, our tray, KV3, CTX. So, you know, you can, you know, certainly in a crisis situation, you can probably utilize uh, these machines. People will hear you, but as far as having good quality communications, uh, that may not be really, uh, you know, as far as normal, everyday ham communications is probably not a good idea to you know work a distant repeater like that so the two meters is an interesting band um, the reason why uh, I prefer the two meter band is because of the distance now um, in communications the um, the lower the frequency, uh, the further your signal can uh, propagate. Um, so with the two meters, you can certainly reach uh, much further away than you could with uh, 440. So we'll take a look at uh, an example. Um, the machine we were hitting. Um, which is right here is a two meter repeater and that's roughly 50 some odd air miles away and then we can go up into the 440 so here you can see this is where my 440 stuff starts at and we can look for one that's of a similar distance And they're just harder to hit. So, you know, basically, two meters is uh, two meters is also uh, a lot of your um, public safety, police, fire, and. They're in the, uh, not really the two meter band, but it's, it's VHF. So, um, VHF is, uh, you know, marine, um, public safety. So, it VHF band is certainly uh, something you want to have. Also, um, this is for satellites. Now, I have a couple of the satellites programmed in here. These are amateur radio satellites. Uh, normally, on the satellites, um, you get a certain amount of time when that satellite's directly overhead, or you know, close to being overhead, and you can work some long distance contacts while that satellite is uh, is overhead, and these amateur satellites you listen to them on the UHF band which is the 440 band but you transmit into these satellites on the 2 meter band so for instance this one here which is SO50 uh, I believe that's Saudi stat um, it's I think it's like four three six seven eight five or something like that I believe is the 
the frequency that you listen to it on. But if I were to transmit, um, it's transmitting, um, I believe it's uh, 145. I think it's like 145.680 or something like that. I'm off the top of my head. I don't remember the exact number. So what does that tell you? It tells you that if you want a greater range, then you're going to transmit uh, VHF, you know, two meters. Um, if if UHF was better, then they probably would have had you access the repeater, you know, through a 440 uh, UHF frequency, just the same as listening to it. But in this case, the amateur satellites, you're accessing them, you know, through two meters through VHF. So. You know, it was my hope to try to demystify two meters. Um, I spoke to a good friend of mine about this some time ago. Now I finally got a chance to um, spend some time and make these kind of videos. Uh, basically, um, for instance, this frequency here is the local uh, spotter simplex frequency for Skywarn for weather. Um, it, it is a simplex setup, meaning um, I would communicate with others uh, from radio to radio. You know, just like a just like C B, be the same thing. And there's no uh, there's no repeaters here in play. Now certainly um, if if an emergency was of such a level or a weather event that we would certainly move to one of the local repeaters and utilize it. But in this case, um, with our regular weather spotting activity, we do that on the simplex. So as you can see, that's a, a simplex frequency. So basically to take the mystery out of it it's simplex which is your two meter um, you know direct radio to radio or uh, going through a repeater now just uh, another quick little note um, you need to be a licensed ham operator in order to work these repeaters and even to um, use the simplex frequencies in the ham band. Um, going out of band, um, you know, there has been some discussions about that. Um, I had, uh, I had suggested that there would be an SWR issue, which I'm going to show you on another uh, video coming up here. But basically, uh, that's two, two meters in a nutshell. So, uh, two meters, it's, uh, it's got greater distance than UHF. Um, just so you know, uh, GMRS, FRS, that's all UHF. Um, so, VHF more line of sight, uh, more distance. Uh, UHF is probably uh, better for being inside buildings, you know, where obstructions are. That usually tends to do better in those situations. So um, hopefully this kind of demystifies things a little bit for you. And if you have any questions or comments, you know, please uh, leave them and uh, if you have any specific questions, you can certainly send me a PM. So uh, this is Renaissance Man. Thank you very much for watching. How you doing?